Know Your Rights, a guide for self-advocates. We all have rights. Knowing and exercising your rights can help you have better control on your daily life. And being aware of your rights helps you make sure you're treated with dignity and respect. This video is about helping you understand your rights as a citizen. Remember that having rights also means having responsibilities. Please talk to someone you trust about responsibilities around your rights. Also, if there's something you don't understand in this video, ask someone you trust explain it to you. This video talks about four kinds of rights. Your right to good communication, your right to relationships, your right to a safe, comfortable, and happy home life, and your right to citizenship in a welcoming community. Let's start with your right to communication. Communication is the meaningful exchange of information between people. That means you have the right to understand important information and how it affects you. So, if you don't understand something, you have the right to ask for an explanation. You have the right to be heard. People should listen to you. You can tell people what's important to you in your own voice and in your own way. And finally, you have the right to say no. Saying no can allow you to make your own choices. If something does not feel right for you, say no. Next, let's talk about your right to relationships. A relationship is an important connection between two or more people. You have the right to be married or not. You have to decide what's best for you. Marriage carries lots of responsibilities, so you have to be prepared for that. It's good to talk to your family, friends, and people that care about you if you want to exercise this right. You also have the right to be a mom or a dad. This right carries some of the most important responsibilities in life. Talk to your family and people that know you well if you're thinking about exercising this right. You have the right to choose your own friends and be around people you have something in common with. You have the right to love, to share your feelings, and to experience the happiness this brings. Home life. You have the right to have a secure, comfortable, and happy home life. You have the right to have a private space. A place where you can have your privacy while not putting yourself in an unsafe situation. You have the right to have a say where you live and who you live with. It may take time before you get what you really want, but it is your right to have a say. You also have the right to have a say in what you eat and when you eat. People you live with and staff who support you need to know if this right is important to you. The fourth right is the right to citizenship. Citizenship means that you have the right to be part of a community and being seen as a person who gives back to the community. This includes sitting on committees, like at the library, an environmental group, or your local community association. You have the right to have your own beliefs. This includes religion, what you think is right or wrong, or any other important matters that you believe in. You have the right to have access to places in your community, like city hall, churches, libraries, parks, stores, and restaurants. You also have the right to have employment and to be fairly paid. You cannot be denied the opportunity to apply for a job. You may not get it, but you have the right to try. You have the right to volunteer for things that interest you or that you feel strongly about. This is one way to give back and be a good citizen in your community. You have the right to be welcomed in your community and neighborhood. Community places like parks, cafes, 
shops are yours too. Just like everyone else, you have the right to be greeted, served, and openly welcomed. You have the right to vote in all kinds of elections, including your local self-advocate group, your town, province, or country. Your vote is your own thought on what's important to you. By voting, you are exercising your right to have a say. So, what have we learned about your rights? Rights are put in place so all citizens can have a fair and equal quality of life. Community Living BC believes that knowing and using your rights are acts of self-determination, which means you are in charge of your own life. It also means you take responsibility for the outcomes of your choices. So, speak up for your rights. This ensures that people know what is important to you. Knowing your rights will help make sure you're treated with dignity and respect.